previously on TV Sins. Oh, come on, Monty Hall, let's make a deal. Come on, you people. What do you mean, you people? Huh? Our story is about a town, a small town, and the people who live in the town. Not to be confused with a dump, a medium-sized garbage dump, and the trash pandas who live there. Although I have concerns, that would be far more interesting a show. Also, more CW narration. That reminds me, I made a CW show bingo card. Now, instead of dreading this paint-by-numbers teenage drama, I can pretend I'll win a prize and fool my brain into creating happy feels. Train station, diner, cemetery, police station, comic book shop. Excitement? Also, look at these innocent comic books as they slowly bake in the sun, their beautiful ink fading from this world. What decent town would allow such a crime? And our story begins, I guess, with what the Blossom Twins did this summer. Pilot takes the framework for its season-long storyline from I Know What You Did Last Summer, with 100% less love Hewitt and Michelle Geller, which makes it 100% more of a sin. Dilton Doily, who was leading Riverdale's Boy Scout troop on a bird-watching expedition, came upon Cheryl. Cheryl was the strangest bird he had ever seen, and instantly Little Man Doily knew that this discovery would seal his fate as the greatest peppy Boy Scout Riverdale had ever known. <laughs> Between the Blossom Clan and Archie, this show has more insane red hair than a Ronald McDonald family reunion. I hope in those last moments he suffered. Any hope of this being an upbeat show based on the original Archie comics has now fled. May Jason Blossom burn in hell. It got dark in the town with pep. I understand this show doesn't try to hide its Twin Peaks aspirations, but casting Machen Amick feels a little over the top. Found your porn. As for us, we were still talking about the July 4th tragedy. I'm not sure why you wouldn't just call it the 4th of July tragedy, but I'm guessing it's some pretentious bull****, so I'm a sinning. Um, how the f*** do they bring back Brittany Murphy? I would start composing these poems in my head. Well, you don't even like reading poetry. Well, they weren't poems. They were song lyrics. Then why wouldn't you just say you were writing songs instead of poems, Archie? Do you guys go to Riverdale? Roll commercials. You're staring at our pussycat ears, which is rude, but let me break it and then down for you. 11 minutes in and Riverdale gives us all we need to know about Josie and the Pussycats. They rude. I've tried every flavor of boy but orange. Actually, Veronica is barely 16 and has had every flavor of boy but orange? Jesus. Also, besides being dressed like a housewife, she quotes Capote, Wilder, and Woody Allen. Where did I put that CW bingo card? Here it is. Character backstory is perplexing garbage dunk. Check. What are you doing walking in this heat? Building character. Do you want to ride? This is the least subtle start to a teacher-student romance on network television since Miss Jacobs and Pacey did the horizontal tango on the creek. Music. You're the music teacher. Can we talk about music? Of course. Make an appointment during my office hours, my official office hours. Uh, wouldn't Miss Grundy need to make that appointment, or does each teacher here have a secretary? Because I'm calling if that's the case. I can't very well have Hermione Lodge, the wife of Hiram Lodge, on trial for fraud and embezzlement, balancing my books. Smooth exposition and all, but he could still hire her to do anything else, couldn't he? What small town has lattes in high school? Is cheerleading still a thing? Is being the gay best friend still a thing? Cheryl would blossom at TV since. At Spence, I sat at the top of the Elite's Pyramid. I'm in. Look, Veronica is a perfectly fit and fetching specimen, but unless she went to a school of giants, there is less than zero chance she was the school's flyer. Of course, anyone's welcome to try out, but Betty's already got so much on her plate right now. Fat shaming. Follow me on Twitter and I'll do the same. My handle is at Cheryl Bombshell. This is a real Twitter handle with one tweet, 12,500 followers, and zero follow backs. I'd say that's worth at least 125 cents. We heard fireworks. Who's lighting fireworks at six in the morning? Clearly Archie was about to with Miss Grundy, so... We didn't say anything. And that makes you both terrible people. Just in case Cheryl's social position was in question, she's managed to find a throne from which she can sit and judge the other mortals below her. Well, you haven't seen our big finish yet. Don't forget. Some people see two faces, some see a candle. There are no right answers, just sticky laptops. Faux lesbian kissing hasn't been taboo since 1994. Taboo. Unleash it. Destroy me. While Cheryl looks for Betty's dramatic side, I'm looking for any adults in this teenage drama hellhole. I mean, besides the one having sex with her student. Betty and I come as a matching set. You want one, you take us both. I get that Veronica is trying to shed her previous pretentious skin and everything, but she just met Betty in the last 24 hours. This is a little too much and should be a little creepy to Betty. Here. He couldn't find any other jersey number except the one from a missing student who is likely dead. Where's that CW show bingo card? Adults portrayed as cold-hearted assholes found it. Perfect. 
Fairy Betty Draper season one. I don't think this show understands the character of Betty Draper very well. What is that? That is a black bra on a sheer top, which means none of what you have to say for the remainder of this scene will matter. Can't I do this one thing just for me? Sure, but you actually said you wanted to do cheerleading because... It would look great on my college applications. Seems like that would be a pretty good excuse to get Mommy Dearest on board. What's that? That is a desk owned by an idiot who can't figure out that the chair goes on the drawer side and the calendar shouldn't be buried in a tray holding a candle and porcupine poof. Hermione probably has a lot of questions about this sudden bag of cash that her husband left her, but perhaps none more perplexing than that stack of 50s that say for motion picture use only. Oh, Hiram, what have you done? That's pretty clear at this point, right? He's a fraudulent embezzler. It's all over the news, Hermione. That's it? We don't talk anymore? Is this the best time to salt Archie's teenage-driven identity crisis wounds with your we-don't-talk-anymore tears? We were this close to having a normal adult figure in this show. This close! Whatever you decide, be confident enough in it that you don't have to lie. I'm taking a sin off for this being the last work of note on television for Luke Perry. R.I.P. sir. You are and will always be missed. I could totally see why Archie is so down. I mean, having to walk into a room of his peers with two beautiful women at his side must be super tough. I don't know how these CW kids make it. I really don't. Can't we in this post-James Franco world be all things at once? Can we never say post-James Franco world again? You will not believe who just propositioned me in the bathroom. Give you a hint, his name may be Moose, but I describe a certain appendage of his as horse-like. Descriptions. Archie, didn't we have a deal? If these two are worried about subtlety, maybe don't bump it out in the back of an untinted car beneath the beacon of a dome light late at night in the school parking lot. These dread-filled faces are silently screaming, get this over with, and I'm finally relating to something on this show. Do you miss New York? It's been less than a week. But, yes. In the past few days since school started, there have been football and cheerleading tryouts, as well as an assembly and formal dance. The real mystery of Riverdale is how the f*** any of this works. We shouldn't do this. We definitely shouldn't do this. Cliché. Where's Betty? She spiraled and fled. You shady bitch. Yeah, sure. Cheryl is the problem here. There's a saying about this type of short-sightedness. You can't see the shady forest through the bitch trees. Pretty sure that's how it goes. How was the dance? I mean, it's not the Met Ball or anything. For Veronica to repeat her burn about the dance not being the Met Ball only means one thing. Kissing Archie made her dumb. And so, it wasn't one heart that broke that night. It was two. Considering Jason's dead body is about to show up in the river, we need to add at least three more for his family. But most importantly, my heart is broken. Thinking about anyone on planet Earth watching this and making any sort of relationship decisions based on what they see, absolutely f*** this show. Please don't make me look up how quickly a body bloats beyond recognition in a river. Please don't make me look up how likely it is for eyeballs to be intact in a dead body that has been in water for any period of time. By morning, everyone would be talking, texting, and posting about it. Would you look at that? Entire town contaminates crime scene and police don't give a shit. What's the final one I needed for CW Bingo? Ooh, that's a bingo. <laughs> Jason Blossom burn in hell. Yes, they deserve to die, and I hope they burn in hell! Oh. Smithers! Oh, you are a sight for sore eyes. Hello, Smithers. You're quite good at turning me on. I'm breakfast at Tiffany's, but this place is strictly in cold blood. No disrespect, Dad. I don't want it. I don't want your life. Make sure those two turtle doves come to my after party. I'm having an old friend for dinner. 